Hey everybody, today I have another book. It's called The Evolution of Useful Things by Henry Petrowski. So that's what the book looks like. Um, it's not that long, it's like 250 pages, and a lot of the pages have diagrams in them. Like you can see, oh, I just had it. Boom. There's some pictures in there. So for you people that like picture books, this book does have some pictures. But onto what it's about. Uh, looking back at the cover, you got a picture of a paper clip right here. And then we have a much smaller picture of a paper clip here. And just like the title suggests, uh, this book is about how things that we have now come to be the shape that they are, come to do the jobs that they do, and how did they evolve over time. Uh, one of the case studies is a paper clip, but there's other things in this book. And it's really talking about what's the mindset that people have when they're creating things. Uh, how do things get created? And really, what's the history of items, like a fork, for instance. The so first chapter is all about forks. And uh, in the beginning, there were no forks. People just had two knives. And they'd stab with one knife and cut with the other knife. And then like stab a piece of food with a knife and shove it in their mouths. But that was dangerous because people were pointing knives at themselves. And also, if you stab a piece of meat with a knife and you try to cut it with another knife, it's possible that that meat that you stabbed will just rotate around the knife as you try to cut it. And so there's like all these little problems that go with uh, that. And so a fork started to be um, invented, it started to be implemented, and over time it started to be accepted. Um, but that's just one example. It talks about uh, aluminum cans like the cans that we use to uh, drink our beverages with, uh, soda cans, and how they came to be their shape today. They did not start like that. Um, and a host of other things. So uh, I think this book is really good at getting into the real mindset of how invention works and how things evolve over time. Um, but I don't think that this book is really good at explaining it in a way that is fun and easy to read. Uh, the book's not that long, so it's not like you have to trudge through a thousand pages of garbage to get like the good information. And it's, the book is not garbage either, it's just um, I found that the book's ideas were a lot more fun to think about than they were to read. And so, um, so yeah. But the ideas in the book, I think, were excellent. Um, and like that picture I showed you, I'll pull up another picture real quick, I'll just flip through and find one. Like uh, with the paper clip, how the paper clip uh, evolved over time. They actually have some pictures, like I hope you can see this, but um, they have some pictures of actual patents for different types of paper clips and to show you like how it evolved. And basically for every case study in the book, they have pictures of patents, they have references to the actual people who invented them, the dates, and it's a good way of like putting the history down and uh, showing you how things progressed and sometimes like a product will go and then two inventors will invent things that are kind of different and how the product diverges into two products, how one inventor makes something that fails and the other one makes something that eventually succeeds and um, different things like that. So uh, this book is really interesting from the mindset of somebody who wants to create or somebody who wants to know how things are made, how things come to be the final shape that they are and really what's the mindset behind how uh, people get up and say, you know what, I'm going to invent this thing. You know what, I'm going to improve upon this thing. And um, I think that that was really interesting. Uh, if you're a designer or a creator or aspiring to be something like that, I think this is a good book to read. Like, it's 250 pages and at least 30 pages are diagrams or pictures. So it's like 200 pages. So it's like a week read at most. And um, I think it's it's good to to get in the mindset of what are other people doing historically, how did inventions work over the course of human uh, time and stuff like that. But uh, I mean, if you're not like really going to be a designer or something like that, this book was not the funnest book to read. And um, so I wouldn't recommend it for everybody. But I mean, again, if you are a designer like me, I'm an engineer uh, myself and I go to work and engineer things. So this was a really interesting book for me to read. But um, Maybe an English teacher wouldn't like it as much. I don't know. But uh, but yeah, that's my review. I think it's a good book. It has good information. Um, but definitely not for everybody. Uh, once again, The Evolution of Useful Things by Henry Petrowski. I hope you guys can see that. But yeah, not that thick. Um, yeah, it's a decent book. That's what I think.